Hello everyone, welcome to Incredible Study. Today in this video we are going to understand about our new topic that is nuclear energy. And to get more clear concept watch this video till the end. So here let's get go. We are familiar to the term atom and we know that atom is the smallest particle of an element and among and inside that atom there is also the subatomic particles and that subatomic particles are proton electron and neutron so these pro among these three electron proton and neutron these two proton and neutron are collected in a place that is called nucleus so here the term nuclear derived from the term nucleus so energy stored in that nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy is known as nuclear energy and there is large amount of energy stored inside the nucleus of an atom and there are only two conditions for releasing nuclear energy that is first one is nuclear fusion and second one is nuclear fusion so we are going to deal these two topics gradually in this video so watch this video till the end so here yeah, now we are going to define our term nuclear energy nuclear energy is the energy stored in a nucleus of an atom so here we write our definition so here the huge amount of energy stored in a nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy so there are two conditions for releasing nuclear energy so nuclear energy gets released and here Nuclear energy gets released during two conditions. First one is nuclear fusion and second one is nuclear fusion. So here we understand about our these two conditions. First one nuclear fusion and second one nuclear fusion. So here first one nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion means fusion means combination of two or more than two. So here fusion means just combination and fusion means breaking down into into different forms from single breaking down into different pieces that is called fusion and fusion means combination from different pieces into a single one so here nuclear fusion is the energy uh, nuclear fusion is the process of releasing energy due to the form due to the formation of heavy nucleus from a small light tiny nuclei so now we define nuclear fusion nuclear fusion or we simply say thermonuclear fusion this nuclear fusion is also known as thermonuclear fusion. Why? I will tell you later on. So here the definition of nuclear fusion means the nuclear fusion is the process in which light nuclei of an atom combine together to form a heavier nucleus with the release of with the release of energy in the presence of temperature, high temperature and pressure. So there is two terms that is tem high temperature and pressure. Therefore, this nuclear fusion is also known as thermonuclear fusion. And here the energy released nuclear in nuclear fusion is more than energy released during nuclear fusion. So, so here now we write detail about this nuclear fusion. Now here we understand about nuclear fusion. So here nuclear fusion is the process in which light nuclei combine together to form a heavier nucleus is called nuclear is called nuclear fusion but here the process in which light nuclei combine together to form a heavier nucleus with the release of energy in the presence of high temperature and pressure is called thermonuclear fusion so here when we add in the definition of nuclear fusion with the with the in the presence of high temperature and pressure then it is called thermonuclear fusion and when we exclude this condition in the presence of high temperature and pressure then it becomes the definition of nuclear fusion so there is only slight slight difference between nuclear fusion and thermonuclear fusion so here the process in which light nuclei combine together to form a heavier nucleus with the release of energy in the presence of high temperature and pressure is called thermonuclear fusion so here this is the example of nuclear fusion reaction this is when here we see when had two parts of hydrogen that is there are three isotopes of the hydrogen they are first one is protium deuterium deuterium and tritium so here what happens Deut deuterium and tritium combine together combine together here 
and it release one helium neutron this is neutron and energy so here this is deuterium and tritium deuterium means mass 2 and tritium means mass 3 this is isotopes of hydrogen so here we write the charge of hydrogen 1 for this hydrogen also 1 and here mass 2 and 3 because this is deuterium and this is tritium when this combine together then it releases helium having atomic number 2 and mass 4 so and here its mass is 1 and charge is 0 the charge of neutron is 0 and mass is 1 so this is the reaction this is the nuclear fusion reaction two hydrogen that is of deuterium and tritium combined together to form one atom to form a single heavier nucleus that is of helium and with the release of one neutron and extra energy this is energy so here the conditions required for nuclear fusion nuclear fusion uh, required some condition these condition are very high temperature and very high pressure nuclear fusion re required very high temperature and very high pressure therefore this type of reaction generally occur in generally this type of reaction occurs in sun and other stars because in that star there is a high temperature there is also the presence of high temperature and high pressure and also in hydrogen bomb we can uh, take example that in hydrogen bomb this nuclear fusion reaction takes place and hydrogen bomb is quite more dangerous than atomic bomb in that atom bomb in that atom bomb nuclear fusion reaction takes place and in hydrogen bomb nuclear fusion reaction takes place so here we can see energy released is more than more than that from nuclear fusion the energy released here in nuclear fusion is quite more than that released from nuclear fusion so we can take hydrogen bomb hydrogen bomb is more dangerous than atom atomic bomb so here this is uncontrolled reaction this reaction is uncontrolled reaction it means it is impossible it is not possible to control this type of reaction nuclear fusion reaction so these are detail about nuclear fusion and we now we discuss about nuclear fusion that is second condition of nuclear energy here now we discuss nuclear fusion and this is also the condition this is also the condition from where the nuclear energy is obtained so here nuclear fusion is the process of splitting of a heavy nucleus of a heavy nucleus of an atom into two or more light nuclei is called nuclear fusion so this is the splitting of single heavy heavy nucleus you can see this heavy splitting of a heavy nucleus of an atom into two or more light nuclei is called nuclear fusion fusion means just breaking down single into two or more than two this is the example here in nuclear power plant what happens when the uranium atoms are struck by by neutron slow moving neutron then uranium atoms just get splitted into two nuclei that is of barium and krypton and along with the release of free neutron and huge amount of energy so here uranium its mass is 235 and atomic number 92 so here this is charge and one the, this is the mass of neutron so here barium means 56 and 141 this is the mass of barium and here 36 and 92 this is the mass of krypton barium at barium nuclei of barium and krypton are released when this uh, uranium atom are struck or hit by this one slow moving neutron and with the release of three neutrons even the three neutrons are released and along with this huge amount of energy are huge amount of energy is also released so what happens during this process three neutron get released here three neutron get released and even this new these neutrons these three neutrons again hit the uranium atom and here they split three they split three other nuclei of uranium again these three neutron that is here 
one for one only one neutron is required for one uranium atom so there is a three three neutrons so these three neutron again hit uranium again hit three uranium nuclei and produce other same kind of reaction so this reaction um, just is going on and this reaction continues rapidly so this and this is also known as chain reaction when this reaction continues rapidly then um, this reaction is also known as chain reaction so here huge amount of energy is released from this nuclear fusion huge amount of energy is released from nuclear fusion but less than nuclear fusion this reaction continues rapidly and is known as chain reaction so see here when one uranium atom is struck by here one neutron this is neutron and this is uranium atom so when uranium atom is hit by a single small neutron then this splits into three nuclei then again the three only i am showing here neutron here then the three neutrons are released and again this neutron attra attack a uranium atom this is uranium atom this is uranium atom and this is uranium atom these all are neutrons these all are three neutron that is gets released during the reaction and again when this uh, hit this neutron hit the uranium atom then again three neutron get released one two three one two three in this way what happens the this reaction continues and so this reaction is also known as chain reaction this reaction is also known as chain reaction and the energy released from this reaction is help for boiling water and what happens when water boils then the steam released from the boiling water is used to and used for generating electricity there are uh, different countries for example U us united states france germany and etc they have their own nuclear power plant they they have their own nuclear power plant and using that nuclear power plant they release electricity and france is at the top that is it releases 75% of the energy from nuclear power plant and generates the good revenue so here this is all about nuclear fusion and atom bomb is the example of this nuclear fusion in atom bomb what happens nuclear fusion reaction takes place this type of here and this kind of reaction takes place in atom bomb so here we are now we see the differences from the here we can easily notice the differences and you can easily even write it in table from these two that i have given you the chart uh, detail about nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion so in this video only this much and i will catch you up in the next one so stay tuned for next video